when the night went. I think it was Seneca who played the SK. Uh, and that SK ripped everyone apart. Did he? Yeah, it was it was actually brutal. Who played it? I, I said think it was... I think it was Seneca. I think it was Navi's lineup. I so, so I'm try, I was trying to rack up my brain. It's the glory See, points. That's because we saw Pasha by the Iron Talon. Yeah, we knew. Heavy rotation, nice silence out from BTZ, actually sk sp stopping the other Titans from letting that stomp go while letting y'all move up. But now the Chronosphere, the MP Tornado gonna be the combo too. BTZ completely out of mana. He's got 9 1 charge, but that will not be enough. Jungle too, from like the magic resistance stuff, it makes it a bit yeah. harder, but... Which is why like you need the third foot up in Sandstorm now, as opposed to just the old two. Oh, mid lane. Yol, yeah, pick up by Tornado. He wants to try and swap into the stun on the Invoker. Uh, his last little bit of a fancy play, but it wasn't going to save his life. Yep, and Thug has the urn finished up from before, and a couple charges on that, so it just heals himself up really quickly after that. Stomp actually catches... BZZ, they have the ETLT, they have the MP, they have oh, Chrono. Oh, Chrono's perfect. BZZ can't go anywhere. The fire strike here from RMN. And with a spectral horn, Illidan comes into the fight as well. Pasha runs himself in. He's looking for some kind of back wall. He gets the wall up at least. And this top Skylark low. He's got four seconds till he can time walk oh, away. But stop. the heel's kicking in from maybe next time. And with the top, it creates more space. RMN wants to stop this. Fire strikes spawn. They find one, they find two. A double kill for Illidan. RMN will lose his life for this. He walks back to the safety of the wall, but Pasha on the front lines is surrounded by three and obviously didn't get the memo correct oh they're getting the wrap on them exorcism is going to be wearing off in the next five seconds the awesome sentries down and here, here comes the jump in from madara the swap out nice and quick from y'all but already madara popping off that shadow dead he wants to go for more here and with a stomp Elden locks in position for a little bit longer and will it be enough the sun hits on madara Elden turns around a good stack EFP tornado and then whoa with the chronosphere they have to wait it out the face of boy pops so quickly the stomp against spartan he is such a space creator at the moment Madara is healing up. Illidan's not feeling too confident at the moment. Thug has a DD and he's on the right side with the oh, Spartans. Gonna go on the Invoker. There goes your silence on the Spartan. So no stomp, no ET splitter. But they're bringing in extra help. The call snap. BZZ needs to get back to his tier 1 town. With the help of the Dark Seer. They get the surge. But yep, Illidan locked in position. Now they go for the Forges. And RMN jumps in with him and actually gets caught. At the same time, Tornado up towards the air. No mana, so he couldn't borrow a strike. He couldn't Sandstorm. He couldn't do anything apart from die. And Thug, Spartan, they're waiting. More support now arrived from, from F5. They come under the cover of smoke. And y'all, well, there's your reveal. This time the virus strike from Iron Man will connect the MP Tornado. Gonna cause problems, and again, this storm is so good from Spartan. He'll split the fight with an ET splitter. Even if it doesn't connect on a hero, splitting up the fight like this means they can actually get one. And BZZ is the big isolated hero. They actually take out two, with Sly taking out the Sand King, Pasha, TP out just before. Point to not really need every single spell to hit perfectly. They have Orphkid yeah. already finished on Invoker and several different tools to take the fight. Having F5. Whoa! 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 Too far forward! Your Burra strike through into the back lines, but this just brings more people to the front lines to kill off. RMN, low on life, makes a break for the tree lines. You're back, your wall. It's nice, but where is your combination? They're already too strong. Madara gets a double kill. Yes, the Oracle will die. And it looks like actually the bailout. ET as well as Oracle down. The TP out from Skylark will be successful. But it's an exorcism used. And they, they took out the two supports. But yeah, Exorcism committed, now it's going to be 120 seconds without that for the next two minutes. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, Elden, don't die now. He's 65 gold away from having his, his relic. Uh, sentry's down, it's out of range of the orbs, they get the Chronos speed. Elden, he's inside the trees, the swap, Y'all tries to do it, but then Spartan, he's already in the right spot, the Spectral Horn, and then actually takes the Spectre all the way down to the bottom lane. He so lives. at least he stays alive, the Darkseer will die for the cause, the all still visible underneath that Observer Ward. So they're chasing up after him, he's got one stun, trying to keep Madara out, Darfak was already used. I suppose in a way he snipes a bounty rune, but Horacle will take his life. Getting the two points in Fake Edict is super important, and the reason is because you can actually use two Purifying Flames to heal your teammate during that Fake Edict so they take no damage. I just, I really wanted to point that out because a lot of people overlook that as well.
Madara, you're taking a lot of damage here. Yes, he's still got his Shadow Dance, but they keep that stun up. And then, okay, no, he's got an Oracle behind him. Million Ranks is taken. Here comes your first epicenter of the game. But it's not going to face this point. All the damage is repaired by just using the Time Walk. So Ironman will run away. Let's look back towards the mid where Madara is currently going ham. The swap from Yol pulls BZZ away, but Oracle's there for the nuke. They go from one target and they see Yol dying up to the tier 4 towers. One more hit. There it is from Madara. Three heroes lost. The mid melee ranks were taken even before this fight began. I just, there's just nothing F5 can do. Yeah, that, that's pretty much it, honestly. Iron Man's gonna get orchided too, so uh, a couple more hits here from Thug will be enough. Into the tree line, the blink up, at least he'll dodge the tornado, so that movement can be nice. But then the simple rotation is AF taking out the bottom racks as well. Yeah. Two lanes of racks within 27 minutes. I suppose a quick game's a good game, but this is gonna make for a long day, and there it is. GG is the call. AF looking stable, but F5 looking a little bit discoordinated in this tournament. They got definitely Madara pretty hard. Yeah, and we, we were we kind of talked about it a little bit. I mentioned it how Fantastic Five tends to have that one hero, which is a healer. Pretty much every single game that they've played throughout this qualifier, they've had like a Wisp, a Winter Wyvern, one, something along those lines, even the Oracle. They strayed away from their comfort zone in these games, and I felt like you could see exactly what happened. They just...